Five people were found shot to death inside three homes in the same area of Wichita, Kansas and police believe the shootings are connected and that the victims all knew each other. Police were called to a report of a shooting Sunday evening and found a man dead inside a home. Officers following up on his death went to a home a few blocks away and found three other people dead. Officers canvassing that neighborhood looked into the window of a third home and saw a fifth victim. Wichita police chief said one of the people found dead Sunday was the suspected shooter, and added that they believe the investigation will determine that one of those victims was the shooter of all the other victims. This is a tragic incident. Uh, this is a senseless act that, you know, uh, that, you know, some families right now are, are you know, dealing with. And, you know, again, we, we want to show some respect to them uh, because we are still investigating. Unfortunately, I have five victims who are deceased from gunshots and we believe that the investigation will determine that one of those victims was the shooter of all the other victims but it's just too early on in the investigation for us to make a statement as to who we believe that is but we have, we have strong direction an early sunday shooting at tuskegee university in alabama left one person dead and injured 16 others 12 of them wounded by gunfire authorities said. The victim of the shooting, an 18-year-old man, was not a university student, but some of those who were injured were. No arrests were immediately announced. Twelve people were wounded by gunfire, and four others sustained injuries not related to the gunshots, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said in a Sunday afternoon update. The FBI joined the investigation and said it is seeking tips from the public, as well as any video witnesses might have. It set up a site online for people to upload video. The shooting happened as the historically black university's 100th homecoming week was winding down. Tuskegee University announced that all classes Monday have been canceled. Grief counselors will be available to help students in the university's chapel. COP28 President Sultan Ahmed Al-Jaber opened the 29th session of the Conference of the Parties by expressing gratitude to delegates for their commitment to addressing global climate challenges. In his remarks, Al-Jaber emphasized unity, action, and the UAE's dedication to fostering partnerships and dialogue amid global complexity and conflict. He urged attendees to continue working together to deliver meaningful result. Assalamu alaikum. Distinguished delegates, it gives me great pleasure to declare open the 29th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Your Excellencies, colleagues, friends, and members of every delegation. It is a great pleasure to join you here in Baku for the opening of COP29. And let me begin by thanking our hosts for their warm welcome and generous hospitality. And allow me to extend my gratitude to every person in this room. By being here today, 
You have all made a choice to make a difference. And as I prepare to hand over the COP presidency, I urge you all to prove once again that we can unite, act, and deliver. <laughs> Excellencies, friends, we meet at a time of complexity and conflict. And against this backdrop, allow me to say that we in the United Arab Emirates will always choose partnership over polarization, dialogue over division, and peace over provocation.